hello and welcome to cool your damn jets um so usually i do uh, uh cool your damn jets after i've had a device for a while and i'm able to talk to you more long term about what the problems may be but uh, this time i'm going to give a uh, an impression of a chair I bought. Well, the chair that I you may have seen it in other videos that I used to be sitting on. Uh, now I'm not sitting on it. I've put it aside to um, be able to work on it. Um, but uh, that chair um, doesn't satisfy me, and I'm gonna go over why it's uh, that way. Um, so let me move around. Whoops. Yeah, so it's the Dewinx 6689. I think it's pronounced Dewinx. I'm not sure how the name is supposed to be pronounced. I've heard people pronounce it Dewinx 6689. Um, my current opinion of it is uh, don't buy. And I'm going to explain to you why I think uh, you shouldn't deal with that, that company at all, even. Not just the chair, the company, I think, is, is broken. Um, in my opinion, uh, CSRs these days are not useful. Ver and they're not very useful for me. Sometimes they are, but usually they, are, they aren't. I know I've contacted a lot of companies, uh, a lot of time, like Google, um, and it seems that most of my requests fall on deaf ears. I don't think they like doing service. Um, when they do service, they give us canned answers, like for the Google TV, where they were saying reset this and reset that. It's nonsense. I, I understand, I understand it, but it's nonsense. I've already done that. Um, Sometimes there are hostile CSRs. They're not, not necessarily going to use a strong language when talking to you, but you realize very quickly when you talk to them that they're defensive. And I take that defense as a hostility. It's like, you know, it's not our problem, it's your problem. Um, but in fact, it is their problem um, and they need to solve, solve the problem. Uh, and there's no such thing as no harm, no foul. I, I feel nowadays a lot of companies, they think, well, we're going to do something and some people are not going to like it, but then they can just return the product and it's going to be no harm, no foul. No harm, no foul almost never exists. The closest you can get to no harm, no foul is if um, you have uh product that you buy it comes to your home you open the box and you immediately notice that it doesn't work for you and you return it right away that's about as close as you can get to no harm no foul otherwise um nobody's gonna pay me back the time that i've put into putting the chair together uh, so the notion that well you can just return it if you don't like it um which actually i I didn't get that answer quite with this chair, but I did get that answer, for instance, with my IQ buds, I think they're called IQ buds, uh, that I put in my hair, and I have a video about them somewhere else. I, you know, one of the answers I got is, oh, you don't like them? You can just return them. Um, no, I've spent time getting these things to work the way I want. Just returning them is not going to be no harm, no foul. It's going to be like, well, you know, I've wasted all that time uh, on your product and now I have nothing to show for it. And I should say I have a very short fuse for nonsense. And I know most companies do deal in nonsense and uh, doing selling is one of those companies. Um, I, I don't tolerate nonsense uh, lightly. Um, the context for the purchase of my chair my old chair was 30 years old and i know that because i flipped it over and i looked at the manufacturer date under it uh, so that chair actually followed me from montreal to the united states um, and it's pro i as far as i can remember is the first desk chair that i bought um, so it was 30 years old. I think the cushion has, is well tamped now and it's, it's not very comfortable and it doesn't have a lot of options in terms of going up or down or um, changing the settings on the chair or reclining. 
the new chair is completely reclining the old chair i can you know i can recline a little bit with it like this but i cannot the seat is fixed there i cannot go all the way back down um and the dew winks look fine just going by the reviews uh, on Amazon, it looked it looked fine, and I can drive myself crazy with research. There are some products that I've researched for a long, long time before buying, uh, and sometimes I wonder if I'm just researching too long <laughs> for nothing. Um, so for this chair, I did research it and I did read the reviews and everything, but. I don't think anybody has quite uh, encountered the problem that I have. Or a lot of people are much more tolerant than I am for nonsense. Um, so the model I got is the 6689. That's what I had in the first slide, 6689. This is what I got. This is what's that's on the box. The red part I've blanked out because it's uh, some code and I don't know if uh, anybody can do anything with that, but I've just decided to blank it out. But I've got the uh, 6689 uh, 02 Perlia as a color code. Um, and this is the the Amazon page for it. Uh, it doesn't say that I've bought it because I went into incognito mode to bring the page up and not have to worry about uh, taking myself out of the page. Uh, and I paid 229 because I got the extra twenty dollars off um, and you can see it's almost uh, five stars it's um, pretty pretty close it's like 4.5 or something uh, so I didn't see any problem with it I looked at reviews also on YouTube and the reviews to me look fine uh, some people had a little bit of problems with you know, the, the arms moving a little bit too much and stuff like that. But it was not a problem for me and actually I've put my chair together and I don't know if their chair had had a manufacturing defect. My chair doesn't seem to move as much as theirs so, um, you know, not a problem for me. Uh, the overall impression, if we, if we eliminate my big problem with it, the overall impression of the rest of the chair is that the wheels are smallish um, they're a little bit over two uh, inches in diameter there are three inch diameter wheels on the internet and there are even four inch diameter wheels so two inches is a little bit is smallish um, putting the chair together required quite a bit of interpretation of the instructions that they gave me um, and I didn't go look at videos I just took the instructions that they had put in the box and put it together I was able to do it without having to redo any steps as I recall but you know I scratched my head quite a bit before uh, getting through it and in the end uh, when you attach the, the there's some parts that cover the size mechanism uh, of the, the the back of the chair and when I was screwing these in I had to essentially screw blind because of the way they manufacture those parts uh, you, you basically cannot see what what you're doing uh, so it was rather hard that part but all of that by itself would not have caused me to leave a bad review I might have left a four star review or maybe even a five star review I don't I don't know what how I would have scored the chair, but that was not a big problem. The deal breaker, or the deal killer, as I call it, is that the gas lift on the chair is inadequate. Um, I'm a guy who's a little bit shorter than average. I'm five foot seven. A lot of people, um, the average I think in the United States is five foot nine inches. Um, and for for a lot of people, I think that are taller than I am they might not notice um, that the lift is inadequate but for me it is inadequate if I pull on the side le lever and raise the chair as much as I can it is still a slightly bit lower than the previous chair I had and it's a, a, a little bit too low for my comfort and that's um, that's annoying uh, but again I say, I say 
taller people might not notice that and and if I raise it completely I also have no leeway to raise it more or lower it more I raise it as much as I can and I'm still a little bit too low uh, on the chair uh, so I, I I took a look at the problem and I see that at the bottom of the chair there's 1.75 inches that protrudes from the bottom of the chair and that's a lot um, I've seen videos online that tell you how to fix uh, chairs that have gone bad over the years and I've seen one which had maybe like half an inch of protrusion at the bottom and the guy was saying well that's too much you need to raise it up and so on and so forth 1.75 inches is a lot and I don't know why it's that way, but I, I can raise uh, some hypotheses as to why it is this way. So here I have the picture. You can see it's about 1.75 inches uh, that it protrudes from the bottom of uh, you know, the foot of the chair. Um, it's, this may be a sixteenth of an inch less than 1.75, um, which is a lot. Um, I've seen most chairs don't protrude that much. Half an inch might be the maximum that they protrude. The other thing is that I looked at the promotional um, material that the company put on the website on, on Amazon and I noticed the gas cylinder are different. First of all, you know, I see three cylinders in this image. There's one cylinder which is a cutout, so I assume that it's for illustration purposes that I don't count it really. But they've put two cylinders in the image, and I don't know why they put two cylinders, because the chair has one cylinder and it comes with one cylinder. If it came with two cylinders, it would make it, it, it would be a difference, because a lot of chairs all have only one cylinder, and if the one cylinder you have goes bad, you have to buy a new cylinder or a new chair. But you can probably get by by buying a new cylinder. So there are two cylinders in the picture, which is bizarre. And the other thing that I notice is that the button at the top is not the same color as what I have. I think mine might be blue, but I'm not sure about it. I, I'm not. The chair is still put together right now, and I don't want to just um, undo it just to look at the color. But it's a different color. It's definitely not orange. And the other thing is that these cylinders, they both look um, like they're, they're, the side of the cylinder is straighter than the side of the cylinder I have. Um, and you're going to see in the next picture the, the, the difference uh, between the cylinders. Not with my cylinder, but with the, a cylinder that someone else has used in a review. So, you know, I said things things have changed over over time. Look at look at this. Uh, you have a, the reviewer here um, with a big do, doings um, package. It's, this thing is, is huge. Uh, and it has more parts than my thing actually. Uh, they probably changed the process of making the chair over time, but they've really reduced uh, the size of uh, the extra hardware that they ship with the chair. Um, I didn't notice this at first, and I didn't complain about that to the company. And I, there's no, I don't have a complaint about that actually. It's, I mean, it's fine if you want to reduce it and you don't want to have a lot of big logos everywhere. Fine, do that. Um, but it shows to you that the chair has changed over time and I made sure that the video I was looking at, the review I was looking at was was a review of the same chair that I bought. It's the same model. Um, so they reduce, they reduce the, the hardware that they put with it and I think there are more parts that are pre-installed now than there used to be. Um, and here you can see the cylinder in this review and my cylinder it looks pretty much like like his and he has I think a green button at the end and mine is not green I think it's blue if I recall correctly so they went from orange to green to blue and the bottom also has changed and this one you can see a very clear um, indent um, that narrows down the tube and if I didn't put a slide of, of his chair fully assembled, but if you were to look at this video, and I'm going to put this video in the description of my video so that you can go look at it if you want. But if you go and see uh, towards the end of, of his review, um, the, the 
cylinder protrudes quite a bit uh, under his chair about just about I can't just uh, about as much as mine as far as I can tell you know I didn't go I cannot go back there and, and, and bring a tape measure and measure his protrusion but it looks like it's similar to mine so to me it looks like the company at some point they decided to, to change some things in their production process uh, you know it could be that they had a, an approvisionment problem with the with the old uh, gas lift uh, it could be that they wanted to reduce the cost of their chair to them uh, it could be that there are parts of the world where they can get the original um, gas uh, lift, but in, in the United States they can't. I've not seen, I, I have to say, I've, I have not seen a review on the internet that had the old uh, gas lift. I've looked at a bunch of reviews and every time it seemed that it was protruding quite a bit from the bottom. But again, I want to, to remind you, if you're more than five foot seven, and you probably are, most people are, uh, you might not notice that there's a problem there. Okay, so then I contacted the company um, to try to find a solution to the problem. Um, I told them, uh, you know, about that the height problem and that I'm shorter than uh, usual. Um, and the response, the first response I got was a can response. They were saying, you know, when you raise a chair, you can sit in a chair, or always a chair won't rise. I know that already, uh, it's a guest lift chair. That's how they work. Um, so I told them that I knew that and that they should, they, they should be sending me a the proper lift for this chair otherwise um, you know they would get the bad review and so I got the second reply to my reply was um, and I've highlighted here the information uh, that matters uh, please help us delete your feedback after all we're trying to solve the problem for you and please fill in the following information and those are two problems First of all, I never delete reviews. If I leave a bad review and things improve, I will edit my review and the score may be edited. I've had scores that varied over time. So sometimes for the better and sometimes for the worse. I have applications, for instance, in, in uh, Google that I've used um, Initially, I thought were great, but then I started running into problems, and I've uh, downgraded uh, the star rating that I gave them. So I never delete reviews. And on top of that, on Amazon, um, the sellers are not allowed to ask uh, customers to delete reviews. Um, I update the reviews. Secondly, I don't know if you're going to fix my problem, actually. You know, you may be sending me another gas lift that is going to be exactly the same as the first one. I have no proof that you understood, and actually, I have my doubts that you understood the problem. You're trying to you're gonna, trying to get rid of the problem. You're, trying, you're not trying to fix my problem. You're trying to get rid of it. It's not the same thing. And the company should already have my address. Um because they've shipped me the chair and this is not fulfilled by Amazon this is Amazon this is sold by uh, do winks Amazon sends them the information they get the label with my address and they put it on the box and the box comes here Amazon was not very helpful when I asked them why they would ask for my address because they were saying something like you know when a transaction is done the information is not available anymore but it's like what the hell um, you know, you display my address on their screen just so that they can print a shipping label and then the information disappears and they cannot retrieve it. Uh, I find that bizarre and to me it's like, no, I want to know who my customers are. Um, so that that sounded very weird and the only, and I'm, I'm speculating and I did speculate before, you know, as to why the lift I got is not a good lift for this chair is is speculation i don't know actually what happened 
with their production process. I'm expecting that it changed and they didn't get the correct lift at some point. But the other thing is that, you know, why do the guy at the other end of the conversation needs my address? It's like, what, did they subcontract uh, customer service to a third party that doesn't have access to the shipping information? How does this work? And I don't want to give my address and name and, and information to randos on the internet. So no, that's that's not that's not how it's gonna work. Um, conclusion: um, You don't decide what's gonna happen. I do decide what's gonna happen. You know, the CSRs in general, I feel that they 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 try to find solutions for us, but at the same time, they're deciding. Oh, you can return the product, or you can do this, or you can do that which doesn't really solve the problem. Like this chair, I'm not going to return it. No way. Um, I'm going to order a lift and fix it. I'm not going to return it to the original company because I've lost all the time I've put into putting the chair together. I'm not going to un then disassemble it and put it back in the box, which is nigh impossible because now it's all assembled and you know everything is stuck together. And there's just no way I'm returning that chair. Uh, I, get, I did get a certificate from Amazon, which is enough to cover uh, the price of a new gas lift. So I've ordered a new gas lift uh, and I am going to install it on the chair. And I expect that once I do that, the chair is going to be fine. Um, because I don't have any other problems with this chair. Um, it's just the height from the desk is a problem. Uh, some people are not happy with the fact that the, the the arms of the chair will not slide under the desk. It was already the case on my old chair, so it makes no difference for me. Um, but I'm generally fine with the chair, and at first I found it a little bit uncomfortable, but I think I need to get used to it. Now, I've, I've already gotten somewhat used to it. Um, but in the meantime, the company that that has sent the wrong lift, and then I try to contact them, and I get the responses that are scripted, or ask me to delete my review, or um, ask me for my information, which I think they should already have. That's not that's not good. And in the meantime, they've earned two bad reviews. They've earned a bad review on Amazon. And they've earned the bad review that you're listening to now on YouTube. And I'm not going to delete these reviews. Um, so kudos to them uh, for their having sent me the uh, a lift that doesn't do the work. And kudos to them for the bad customer service. Because now they have to live with two bad reviews. And, you know, what about the other reviews? Because if you go look at the chair and you go on the internet and you go on YouTube and you're going to see a lot of positive reviews. What about what about those positive reviews? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm puzzled. Well, part, of the, uh, part of the answer is that somebody who's tall enough might have raised it to the highest level and might be fine with where they're situated relative to their desk. Um, and you know, if they're fine, then they're fine. And then there's no reason for them to give the chair a bad review. Um, uh, but it's possible that some of those people have been paid off by the company to give great reviews. Um, I just cannot tell I'm speculating again. Um, but my conclusion is just don't buy this chair uh, and don't and as far as I'm concerned do not deal with this company I'm not going to deal with them uh, I'm not replying to the last message that their customer service representative sent because I don't want to waste my time you know my time is precious time is precious in general time people's time is precious I don't want to be carried along by some sort of customer service representative who at the end of the day is not going to deliver. So I decided to take the problem into my own hands. I'm going, I've am going. i already ordered the replacement lift. I should be having it today. I don't know if I'm going to install it today, but possibly I'm going to install it today. I'm going to let you know how it goes with the replacement lift. And um, other than that, I don't want to deal with this company anymore. 
and my advice to everybody is do not buy this specific chair and don't buy chairs in general from them because the customer service is not is not great so um, this was uh, my impression of the Dewinx 6689 and I'll see you in another episode later